Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carreon, and today we will talk about a very easy topic, the perimeter. The perimeter is the sum of the sides of a geometric figure. It is the measure of its counter. Let's see our first example. Here I have a triangle with measures of 5, 12, and 8 centimeters. The formula to calculate the perimeter is side plus side plus side. We are going to add the three sides of the triangle. Perimeter is equal to this side that measures 8 centimeters plus this side that measures 12 centimeters plus this side that measures 5 centimeters. When adding 8 plus 12 plus 5, I get 25 centimeters and that is the perimeter of this triangle. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Here I have a square and it has measurements of 4 times 4. This means that each of the sides measure 4 centimeters. The formula to calculate the perimeter of the square is perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side because it has 4 sides. Now, I am going to substitute data. Perimeter is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Perimeter is equal to 16 centimeters. There is another formula to calculate the perimeter of the squares, and it is perimeter equals side times 4. The side times 4 is multiplied because there are 4 sides that measure the same. In this case, the measurement of the sides is 4. Therefore, it is perimeter equals 4 centimeters times 4. When doing the operation, it gives us 16 centimeters as a result. This means that the contour of the squares measures 16 centimeters. Let's see another example. Here I have a rectangle with measures of 7 centimeters times 20 centimeters. The formula to calculate the perimeter is perimeter is side plus side plus side plus side. Now I am going to substitute data. This means that instead of putting the letters, I am going to put their value. And perimeter equals 7 centimeters plus 20 centimeters plus 7 centimeters plus 20 centimeters. When adding 7 plus 20 plus 7 plus 20, it gives me that the perimeter measures 54 centimeters. This means that the outline of the rectangle measures 54 centimeters. Now, the pentagon. Each of its sides measure 4 centimeters. The formula is perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side plus side. Now, I am going to substitute data. This means that instead of letters, I am going to put their value. Perimeter equals 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters. When adding, I have that the perimeter is equal to 20 centimeters. Since all the sides of the pentagon measure the same, I can use this formula. Perimeter equals side times 5. Perimeter equals 4 centimeters times 5. Perimeter equals 20 centimeters. This means that the measurement of the outline of the pentagon is 20 centimeters. Very easy, right? Now, we're going to see the hexagon. Each of its sides measure 7 centimeters. The formula to calculate the perimeter of the hexagon is Perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side plus side plus side. When substituting data, it is perimeter equals 7 centimeters plus 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 7 centimeters. When adding each of the sides of the hexagon, the perimeter is 42 centimeters. Very easy, right? There is a way to make it easier, which is by using this formula. Perimeter equals side times 6. I will multiply the measure of its side times 6. 
pentameter equals seven centimeters, which is what each side measures, times six sides. The pentameter equals seven times six, and it gives me 42 centimeters. This means that the outline of the hexagon measures 42 centimeters. Remember that the perimeter is the measure of the outline of a figure. Now, I am going to leave some exercises for you to solve. I hope to see your answers in the comments. I really hope you like this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.